Oh, hey, what's going on, you wonderful people? Do you really need two microphones to stream on Streamlabs OBS on the Mac through the PS5? Or can one mic do it all? Can one mic catch the commentary, the party chat, the game chat? Well, let's find out in today's video. Let's do this. YouTube! <laughs> What's going on, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creighton TV. Yes, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up one microphone to use with your Streamlabs OBS on a Mac to catch your commentary, your game chat, your party chat, all streaming off the PS5. And you only need just one microphone. So let me show you how you do that in today's video. So you're what you're gonna to wanna to do first is you wanna make sure you plug in your microphone into your Mac computer, go to system preferences, go to the sounds, go to the input tab, and make sure that your microphone is set to the default audio tab inside the sounds. From there, you're gonna to want to go to PlayStation's website and be able to download the PS Remote Play app. The link will be down in the description box down below so you can follow along with this video. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead and sign in to your PlayStation Remote Play app using your PlayStation login. If you have any um, trouble with the PS Remote Play app, what you wanna do is go into your PS5 settings, go down to your account settings, and make sure that your PS5 or your primary console is set to the default for the primary console that you are trying to use, PS5 or PS4. From there, you can go to system inside the PS5 or PS4 settings and make sure you enable the remote play app. That way it will allow you to use the remote play anywhere else. All right, so now that you got all that set up, now you should be able to see a mirror image of your PS5 console on your Mac computer. And from there, you want to take your controller. As you're going to see a little thing pop up, it's going to try to get you to log into your PS5. No, you don't want to have to do that. So it's going to, if you do that, you log into your PS5, it's going to cancel the PS Remote Play application. So what you want to do is connect your controller to the computer via the USB cable or through Bluetooth. And the way you want to do it through Bluetooth, you want to click, click on the Create button, which is right here, and the Home button, PS Home button. Now, if you want to know how to pair your PS5 controller to the Mac computer, once you press the create button and the home button for three seconds, you'll see the button flash and light up. After that three seconds, you'll be able to connect it to the Bluetooth and that way you'll be able to pair it to your computer to be able to log you in and stay to, stay connected to the PS Remote Play app. Either one works, doesn't really matter. Now that you got that all set up and you got your controller connected to your computer, now you're going to want to make sure that you got your uh, capture card set up correctly. So I'm going to put a Venn diagram on how you should have your capture card set up from the HDI, HDMI cables and the USB-C, what plugs into what on the computer. That would be insane and get you all started. And if you have that all done, now let's get over to Streamlabs OBS. Keep in mind, we were pulling all this audio over HDMI. You're going to want to open your Streamlabs or your OBS software, whatever you prefer to use. From there, this is how you see I have a new display uh, setup, screen setup. So you want to do is you want to add the source. You want to come down, add a video capture device, add source, um, name it to whatever you want. For me, in this demonstration, I'm going to use PS Remote Play. Now, from the drop top menu, you want to select your capture card, whichever one you have selected or you have set up, scale to fit the size, lock that in place. As you can see, this is just showing you a mirror image of your PS Remote Play app. So make sure that you have your PS Remote Play app still open and running. Add your microphone to the to the source. So you wanna go to settings and Streamlabs, go to audio. You wanna come down here to your microphone and change that to the name of your microphone, whatever one you have set up. And now as you will see, the microphone audio will be continue to progress this is for your commentary so when you're setting up your commentary you know your stream it will, it will be able to hear you now you want to be prepared with your game chat and your party chat work so you need to pull in some audio for that what you want to do is you want to go back add another source come down to audio input capture you can name that to whatever you want to or leave it the same but for this you, know, you can go from there default you want to set that to your capture card uh, that you have there. I like to set mine to monitor and output from there. So now that's the gameplay audio, you know, gameplay be coming in and everything else. So what you want to do is 
you want to adjust your gameplay down there. I like to keep mine like at negative seven, negative eight, just so it's not peaking as high as the, the microphone audio is. And then now when you're, you're playing with your friends, then you're, you should be able to have party chat, game chat, all sufficient and running in the PS Remote Play app. You know, and where you can be able to keep up with your friends and whatnot. Make sure on your PS Remote Play that you enable your microphone to be turned on so that your game chat and party chat can be turned on, uh, can hear you in game. So now that you got all that set up, now you're able to use one microphone to capture game chat, party chat, commentary, and Streamlabs desktop or OBS on a Mac. Hey, you can't beat that. Question, what are you going to be using out there? You're going to be using the one mic setup or the two mic setup? Leave it down in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. God bless everybody. Peace.